Well, New York City is ready for the return of music's biggest night. The Grammy Awards will be held here in the city this Sunday. But before the show, CBS will present Grammy Red Carpet Live, a live entertainment special and entertainment tonight's Nancy O'Dell will be one of the hosts. It's so great to have you here. Thanks it's so much. It's to be here Nancy. in New York City. A little bit chillier than hey, LA. It's warm enough, though. It's going to be great. <laughs> I know. It's going to be yeah. beautiful. Good. Yeah, in the 50s. I think so, too. So who are you most excited to see? Oh, gosh, so many people. Well, I'm looking forward to The rumor is, is that Kendrick Lamar is going to be opening the show. So if that is happening, I'm looking forward to that because he is, you know, the second most nominated artist behind yep. Jay-Z, who I also want to perform along with Beyonce, but that's my dream, right? Holding on hope, right? I know, that would be nice. He's sitting in the front row. And then, of course, I'm a big country music fan, so Little Big Town, they're nominated, yep. and they are performing, so I cannot wait to see them perform because they always do a tremendous job. Um, I'm also looking forward to Pink, because you never know. She's oh, either, Lord. you know, going to be scaling from a building <laughs> or she's going to be hanging from a string doing acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. So she always does a fantastic performance. Performance and you never know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And the Elton John Miley Cyrus yeah. Yeah, yeah. duet, right? Yeah. Yeah. The After collaboration, the news was I should this say. Week, yeah. That's yeah. Just, this, this award show, it's so unique in that there are so many, not only the great collaborations, but it's just, it's all live music. Does that make this, this show, to, in your estimation, really stand out from like the Oscars and the Golden Globes? It does. I say it's, I mean, it's not a bad job to have, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> you're going to the biggest concert you could ever ask for. You're not going to see just one artist, but you get to go to like 50 concerts. And it's so unpredictable because they sometimes take one genre and mix it with another genre. So you're going to see some of the best performances ever. That's why I said, you know, the Miley Cyrus and Elton John performance, you would never expect yeah. those two together. And to put them up there, I want to find out, you know, the red carpet special, which is going to be airing, which I'm hosting along with Kevin Frazier, yeah. the hour before the main Grammy show. I want to find out from them, how did the collaboration come about? Yeah. And that's some of the fun things is also to see on the red carpet, them bumping into each other and to see who is a fan of who's and who is a who becomes giddy and, and becomes a fan instead of a celebrity of the other person's music and then you find out that oh they meet on the red carpet and next thing you know they're doing a duet together so it's just moments like that you know on the red carpet that are so raw and live and like i said just a concert that is yeah. just the best you'll ever it's everybody's see everybody's best song too oh my the collaborations are phenomenal <laughs> yes and can we talk red carpet just for a minute? Because I'm giddy just watching the fashions. It's always so neat to see. And there's like a special message this year, too. There is. I mean, well, the Grammys is always unpredictable. And maybe a little more subdued this year. I think you're still going to see some some outrageous fashions. But this year, um, as you see there, the, the gold yeah. coming in. You never know what to expect. <laughs> or people, you know, taking a stance. And they are doing that this year because they're going to be wearing a white rose on either their gown or their lapel or their coat. Um, and that is because of the Me Too movement. Yeah. Whereas at the Golden Globes, everybody was in black because of the Me Too movement. They're going to be wearing a white rose at the Grammys to make their statements. So it'll be interesting to hear yeah, what some nice of the them. artists have to it say. It'll be nice for the men this time around. Yeah. Do something like that because when you know, black at the Golden Globes is not that big a deal. Because yeah, you can because they're always wearing black tuxes, yeah. right? It's great to have you in New York. Thank it's good, good to be to here. Nancy. Thanks so, so much a lot for stopping fun. in. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Good to talk to you. You can watch the Grammys right here on CBS2 this Sunday. Pre-show coverage starts at 6.30. We'll have reporters covering every angle from the red carpet to backstage in the moments you might miss. So make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter with our hashtag CBS New York.